Hi, I'm just going to do a quick video on tennis gadgets. So um, I have just a few modified rackets. I have one with um, a shock absorber. I have one with um, an overgrip just on one bevel, on bevel two, to make the um, eastern grip more pronounced. And I've also um, a racket I've made heavier through the um, uh, through the tape, through the metal tape. So as you can see, it's just in a semicircle there at the at the top of the racket. So um, and I'll finish with uh, some two two-handed serves. So um, I'll begin with the. Um, I begin with the the overgrip. So um, today I'll just use an eastern forehand grip, an eastern uh, front side backhand grip. Um, so I'll just give a quick uh, demonstration. So um, the overgrip kind of widens your, your palm, it, it stretches out a small bit more. So that's how it makes it more kind of, um, makes the grip feel more uh, familiar. So um, when you have the overgrip on one side, on one bevel uh, stretch, it just means you have to use that bevel for a forehand, backhand and serve. So um, I used the, the Eastern, but also on the, on the backhand, it's the same as the Extreme Western 135 degree uh, pronated aside, so the overgrip will, will correspond to that one as well, so I'll demonstrate that. Okay, so I'll switch over. Okay, this time the the mod con is the um, shock absorber on the bottom. And I'll use the uh, eastern grip again.
Uh, the shock absorber. Um, it kind of. Um, they say it affects the, the string tension. Another way of looking at it, as well as that, um, it, it affects the the apparent size of the racket head. So it means that um, if you have the string bed on the bottom, that means that this section of the racket, you can't hit it because it's too tense with the shock absorber. So it means this, this section of the racket is effectively un unusable. So it means that the the string bed is actually a small, uh, smaller. It's effectively smaller. And so when I when I hit it, it kind of reminds me a small bit of the of the small framed wooden rackets. The the kind of the the sound of it because um, of course that that helps with the accuracy, I suppose. Although there's there's always pro pro pros and cons, it might, might mean you mightn't get as much power or so forth. Move on to the uh, the heavier racket. So the weight of this racket is um, three hundred grams, but um, it feels a bit heavier. Firstly, because the the head size uh, is, is very big, so means the leverage means it's actually a bit, feels a bit heavier. Even even if a, a smaller racket is um, is is actually heavier in weight, it, it still feels kind of lighter because the the head size can um, if it's a large head size it can make the racket feel heavier e even if it's not technically heavy so I put the the lead tape at the top at the tip of the racket so this makes it kind of heavier because uh, the distance from their your hand it is, is at maximum here so the string weight is really heavy you don't have to put too much tape in, in other words at the top because um, only a small bit of tape can, can really affect the swing weight. Whereas um, if you put tape at the at the bottom, in the middle, in the sides, it it's, it doesn't appear as, as as heavy because it's closer to your to your m m moving hand. So I'll just give that a go on Eastern again. see how much momentum it packs in even when I do a slow backspin swing the ball still goes quite fast and backspin is, is usually slow so that's quite um, that's quite impressive so I'll, I'll just use a backspin slice and you can just see see how fast the ball goes
turn to uh, Topspin. for a return shot if you're returning serve and your opponent has a very fast serve this kind of heavy type of racket well, would um, be quite useful because if you're returning a fast serve you don't have much reaction time to kind of to, um, to have a large back swing and propel your arm uh, forward if, you're, if the ball is coming very fast, you just have a, a tiny bit of time to, to move your arm. And so with a heavier racket, that means you can have more momentum in the shot in that shorter period of time. So a heavy racket is very good for a defensive type of shots that, um, that you can't, you, you can't um, do, 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 do a full swing on. So uh, one last time I'll try it flat. He has great return of serve, so you can see how sometimes a heavy racket can help uh, with precision on those kind of um, difficult, difficult return shots. But like I said about the shock absorber, there's pros and cons to everything, and. I suppose with a heavier racket, you might have the same reach. So, you kind of reaching for the ball, kind of the flexibility of a light racket will come in handy in that case. So, it's, it's all about your own kind of game plan. Trying to hit at max speed there, so it's doing too fast. Drive volleys. So, uh, let's collect the ball. <laughs> 